how to decide between fixed or random effects for your panel data regression. We will use the Hausmann specification test and we will discuss the limitations of the Hausmann test or put differently, can you trust the Hausmann test? So wait until the end to figure out whether it is a reliable method for your specific problem. I opened um, a starter do file and I opened the file we used in the previous video. If you missed the video on an introduction to panel data models, um, here it is. So this is just um, um, opening our data set um, and running um, various um, panel regressions, fixed and random effects. And now I want to test um, whether we should use fixed or random effects. I just want to briefly highlight how this test works without using any theory because as you know we don't do any theory in this course. Now what's the idea behind it? First of all um, you have to understand a few things in terms of estimations. Um, an estimate um, could be biased or unbiased. So a biased estimator systematically over or understates the true value of a parameter in your model. Having a biased estimator is bad. Either your estimate is too low or it's too high. Fixed effects um, regressions are unbiased. Random effects can be biased. So that is a disadvantage of random effects regressions. However, the second part is efficiency. It means that the estimate has a low variance. Now random effects is more precise, um, meaning delivering lower variance compared to a fixed effects regression. Because by definition, random effects considers the within and between variation in your data. Within means inside your inside your cross-sectional unit and between cross-sectional units. By construction, fixed effects is fixed, so there is no within cross-sectional unit variation. So by default, random effects will be more efficient delivering a, an estimate with lower variance. However, it can be potentially biased. Now the idea of the Hausmann test is to do the following. We first um, estimate um, a model that is unbiased using a fixed effects model. So we get unbiased coefficients. Then we estimate an efficient model, which is the random effects model. So we get lower variance. However, the coefficients might be biased. Yeah? So what we do is we compare the coefficients. And if these coefficients are too far away, we don't go for random effects. So to be precise, the null hypothesis for the Hausmann test um, is that a random effects model is suitable. Or put differently, there is no big difference between the um, estimated coefficients. Now we implement that in starter as follows. We start with um, the first step and step one is to estimate um, a fixed effects model. So we estimate our fixed effects model. We store the estimate using estimates store, which we have done before, and I just call this FE for fixed effects. Then we estimate um, a random effects model. We don't have to store this because this would be already in memory. Now we do the Hausmann test. We refer to the fixed effects model, which is unbiased but not the best in terms of minimizing variance. We refer to the second one just by using dot because that's the current stored value. And I use the option um, sigma more. Now, um, these options are not as important. They should um, all converge. Um, however, um, it might perform sometimes um, better under certain conditions. Sigma more means that I use as the variance um, and covariance estimate the efficient estimator, which would be the random effects estimator. Good, we just now run these. Now, as I said before, we compare the coefficients. So the first one is the fixed effects model, just taking the coefficients from these models. The second one is the random effects model. 
And you see the coefficients do differ. Yeah, some actually differ quite substantially, in particular the estimate here for um, the research and development relative to total assets. And, and this difference um, could be enough to say that end of the day random effects might not be the most suitable option. So here, as you can see, our null hypothesis is the difference in coefficients is not systematic. So that means uh, coefficients um, are not biased. Or put differently, uh, the null means the random effects model would be our preferred model because we, we don't bias our coefficients and we are more efficient, which is good. So it's a win-win. So fundamentally, it's a trade-off between unbiased and efficient estimator. That's what the Hausmann test is about. As you can see, however, um, based on the p-value, you are way below a p-value of 0 0.05, which means, in this case, with 95% level of confidence, or even 99% level of confidence, we can reject the null. We would recommend a fixed effects model. You get another clue as well when you look at the fixed effects estimation, and we discussed this in the previous video. Um, here the F-test would also indicate that the fixed effects are actually um, important, they're not jointly equal to zero. So that's another indication that fixed effects would perform better. Should you trust it? Should you just say, okay, based on that, let's do um, a fixed effects? Okay, I give you an honest answer. Honestly, if you do this, if you report these findings, most referees in academic journals would say, fine, you have done this you go for fixed effects. That's acceptable. However, there is a whole literature here and I can show you a few um, papers. So when you just look for random versus fixed effects, there are plenty of papers where they actually do question this logic. Again, if you want to leave a comment below, please do so. If you want to go deeper um, into this topic, I'm more than happy to do another video um, going um, deeper into it. Now, what are the crucial problems with um, this um, Hausmann specification test? Number one, it doesn't work very well on small samples. So if you don't have a big data set, I wouldn't trust it too much. The other issue is um, clustering is a problem. Yeah, so and clustering um, means that there is a tendency of similarity within a cross-sectional unit. Yes, yeah? so if you see lots of clustering happening, and we talk about um, this in more detail in other videos, that would, would potentially be also a problem. And the biggest issue is if your model is misspecified. Yes, yeah? so if you do your fixed effects model and actually um, there is a specification problem, you also run into troubles. Now, what are the reasons for misspecification? We already came across a few. So one, for instance, is, is omitted variable bias. Now, we did a video on this. So that's something you would have to look for. And um, there could be an unknown nonlinear relationship as well, which might cause the same problem. And we spoke about this. Good, that's all for this session. I see you in the next one.